Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will go through how to run a Siemens MicroMaster 420 via the USS communication protocol from an S7-1200 PLC. First let's go through how to do the settings on the VFD. First we want to set parameter 3 to 2. This will allow us to do the RS-485 settings. Then we want to go to parameter 2010. Here we want to set it to 6. This will set the baud rate to 9600. Parameter 2011 is to set the VFD ID number. I will set it to 1. Next we want to change where the VFD will be controlled from. First we need to change back parameter 3 back to 1. Then we want to change parameter 700. I will set it to 5, since it's the USS on com link to the command source. And change parameter 1000 to 52. This parameter will change the frequency set point to USS on com link. Now this is all the settings we need to do on the VFD to control it from the PLC. So let's jump over to TIA portal and do some programming. In TIA portal I will add my device with the RS-485 communication card. I will simply add an unspecified device while being connected to the PLC from my laptop. It will detect the PLC with its components. If we click on the RS-485 card we can change its settings. But we want to stick with the default settings for this communication. I will now add a function where I can add the USS drive function block. The blocks for the communication can be found under the Communication Processor tab. I will simply add an USS DRV block to the programming rung. Before we start programming this block we want to add a new cyclic interrupt organization block. And change the cyclic time to 50 milliseconds. Here I will add the USS port block. On the port input we want to add the RS-485 card from the PLC. And the baud rate input we want to set to 9600. To the last input we want to add the data block TIA portal made for us from the drive function block. To the error and status outputs I will just make temporary tags to add there.
we can now go back to the drive block and program it. I will keep the programming very simple here, I will add a memory bit on the run input so we can trigger the run command. Same on the fault acknowledge input I will just make a new global memory bit. On the drive input we want to set the ID we gave the VFD earlier. So I will change it to 1. And on the speed input I will add a global memory real tag. Now last thing to do is to add the function to the main block so we can run it. Now this is all we have to do to run the drive from the PLC. Let's go online and test it out. I can now change the speed as I like and set the run bit to true. We can also change the speed while it's running. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.